In 2012, Pastor Charles L. Worley of North Carolina called for gays and lesbians to be put in electrified pens. In 2013, he rose to power, backed not only by an army of God-fearing people who felt the same way, but by nuclear weapons that North Carolina had secretly been developing with the help of North Korea. War ensued, and over the next five years, the once great nation heralded as the United States of America slowly fell. And from its ashes, a new nation was born. The new Confederacy of North Carolina. The good word from the good book will our guidance be. No other alive but Jesus from sea to shining sea. For we have triumphed through the years to be. The new Confederacy of North Carolina. North Carolina, we pledge ourselves to thee. Chairman, I was just about to take Julie to the West End Park. Oh, well that sounds like a good idea. I wish I could take you myself, but Papa's got to get back to the office. He's working on something very important. Y'all have fun now. Love you, Bumblebee. Congratulations, darling. Feels good, doesn't it? <laughs> I knew it pass. It all came down to one vote, though. It was all because of me. Oh, my Lord. Just think, Ruth. If I would have said nay, it never would have happened. But, baby, I said yay. <laughs> because of me, all the homosexuals be locked away. I am so proud of you. And do they know when the tests will be administered? Oh, yeah, almost immediately. This is one of President Worley's top priorities. It'll be administered in hospitals, schools, nursing homes, daycares, everywhere. And do they know where they're going to hold the people that test positive for the gay? Well, old prisons for now, but they'll have nicer facilities with running water and bathrooms. <sighs> They're even gonna feed them. That is so sweet. You know, I always believed that those gays were almost human, and you know, I'm just happy to know that they'll have a nice place to call home. <laughs> Well, it seems the only thing on anybody's mind is last night's historic decision by Confederate Chairman Nathaniel Sweetwater that all citizens of the new Confederacy that test positive for the gay will be moved to concentration camps. Today, I hit the streets of North Carolina to find out what the citizens have to say. Well, I tell you, I am very happy to see them gone. It's about time they got rid of them gays. I mean, like, that's what the Bible tells us. I mean, it's just, it's a man and a woman. Doesn't say a man and a man. That's it. That there's something not human about being gay that is not God's gift to the mankind. Tell you what, I got a gun in my pickup truck, I'll help them out. It's just like herding cattle. You know, it's just kind of scary, you know, the amount of queers that are uh, sneaking around our community. So I'm um, glad the bill passed and the Confederate chairman must be real proud of himself. Mm -mm -mm. Hello? What? What happened? I can't hear you. Someone is on their way right now to take her away. Baby, stay right there. I'm on my way. Confederate Chairman Sweetwater must be on cloud nine for being the hero of the hour. This is Jax Jardine signing off. North Carolina, North Carolina, we pledge ourselves to thee. The good word from the good book will our guidance be. No other love but Jesus, from sea to shining sea, for we have triumphed.